1.3. Now the moment his morale drops down further, let's see, because he's thinking, he's thinking, I've got 118 versus 25, he, I'm totally going to win. That's what he's thinking, right? Might be whole strength. I don't know. So I need to make sure to retreat before his morale hits zero. So I'm going to wait one more day. And if I wait another day, his morale is going to increase. And now we're going to retreat over to Cat. He's going to win this battle. No, he's, he lost it. Shit. I should have retreated earlier. The the French being there made him lose. So now he's going to shatter retreat. So I, I, I done goofed. I should have retreated earlier because the French are stupid. Actually, these boats look really cool. I never looked at these boats before. Wow. Look at that. Look how cool these boats look. I never realized that. These light ships. These transport ships. These boats look legit amazing. I didn't. Wow. So that's new. I don't usually zoom into boats this much, but man, this is great. I never realized that. I just kind of always zoom out when I'm moving these around. I zoom into less. Wow, you look, you can see the cannons of Jack. It's amazing. But yeah, I don't goof there. I should have retreated earlier because now France won the battle with one ship. Which is uh, sad, but. Do I still only have one war score even after having the siege down this? No, I don't want to do it. But I would like him to annul his fucking treatise in Spain. Damn, that is annoying. It's annoying as hell, Pope. Yeah, I'd like to stay up around here, give myself some sieging. sieging help. Wait, his enthusiasm is on high, but that's probably because of this battle. I'm assuming. I'm really hoping I can destroy his navy. I, I, I've been neglecting that. And I shouldn't have. It's so easy to do as well. I lost that battle, but that shouldn't give him any extra war score. He's still on the hive. So he won't even wipe these. Maybe that's going to change after I see Sven Kunio and Piedmont. We'll see. Really kicking the poke out of this stupid war. I should prepare my navy a little bit. Hold on. There was a navy. I was just about to say, there is a navy up here. I want to, I want to kill it. I should just prepare, wait for the 100, wait for his death stack to start moving again and then maybe we can do something. Revolutionary regiments. I want to go Republic. I want to go Revolutionary Target. Well, the thing is, I really want to go revolutionary tar- No, I want to go revolutionary target. I'm not going to deal with going revolutionary- I'm Republican sooner. I don't know, you might be able to do both. I don't think so, though. I think you need to be- I think you need to be, um... Monarchy for that to work. So can we get the death stack? But he's got some ships up there. I don't even know how he's building all of these ships so fast. It's amazing. My dockyards and his dockyard should have uh, words after this war. I need to be educated. I don't know how he's building all of these ships. Well, he's got infinite money. He's a uh, very hard AI. Well, not infinite, but 
He pays a lot less maintenance on the uh, navy and the ship cost is down. Can I get a general in here before we lose another battle? That'd be unfortunate. And can I get this siege done? I mean, come on. It's been fun. But I'd really like that siege done by now. Could tech up Diplo, but that's not. Still have plenty, uh, plenty more shit to uh, Plenty more bonuses to stack. Oh wow. <laughs> Talking about stacks, that was a nice way. So uh, the Pope is now on low. I'm pretty sure I can force him to a North Street with Spain. He's not allied with Portugal, so Spain is really all I want. Fantastic. That's the Pope out of the war. We can now safely move our troops back into my land, and they'll be good to go from the get-go. So that actually leads me to a little trick we're gonna use. We're gonna put all of them in uh, Narbonne. And then the moment I've got all of my troops here, we're going to enter Roussillon. It's going to unexile them. And then we're gonna enter Narbonne and stack like that 25 stack. Because they still repairing. I can't get that baby out of there. I really wish I could. But I, I didn't take up Diplo. Yeah, I'm not going to. Not for now. Eight. Right. There's enough cans here to fill Pomet with, so we're not going to get any stronger. So this should be white. No, it's way too slow. Yeah, it's way too slow. Okay, never mind. It just looked really slow. And with that stack weapon bonanza, I'd say we keep going. Stack wipe some more. Okay, never mind. That's not going to be a wipe. No, for sure that's not going to be a wipe. Well, it might be a wipe for my guys. I'm certainly not going to bring more reinforcements in. That would be pointless. Not with France keeping more guys in. Besides, these guys won't be able to do anything. Got more than enough reserves, I'm sure. 70k in reserve, 60, 60, 60, 60, 50, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, That'd be pointless. Do you still want Roussillon? Oh look, I unseeged it and now he doesn't want it anymore. Fantastic. Is that the free music pack in the background? No, music is uh, music is turned off. I'm using epidemic sound. Also, the navy started moving again, so I want to chase it down. All of it. My troops are slowly starting to become gods, but uh, you won't see the the absolute god mode tier until I finish quality years after that. Where is he going? West and approaches. So we're going to fight him. Before his morale hits zero, we're going to retreat to the West and approaches. Because we retreat whilst he was winning, he's going to get morale. That morale is going to allow me to do this trick again. Then I need to figure out where he's going to go after, but I can do that whilst doing this. So. Is the music and the sound and everything all right for you guys? No, I just turned the music off.
that didn't work his second time. God damn it. I was sure he was going to retreat to the western approaches there. That's unfortunate. I don't know, it worked perfectly before. I, mean, I guess next time I should just retreat further away. Maybe he wasn't gonna go there because I went directly into that, so maybe we should retreat further away. I don't know. Or maybe I should have waited until he's locked. Damn, that sucks. I mean, I didn't win the battle, that's. Not really what it's about, isn't it? Uh. Yeah, no, we failed. So Britannia doesn't rule the waves today. I wouldn't settle for anything less than complete and total destruction of that fleet. Damn it. Right, we can start coring our provinces now, at least the ones along the coast. It's gonna take a really long time. We're gonna buy down more of Because I mean, before the end of this, I'm gonna, need, uh, I'm gonna need to have that cord if I want to ask for some overextension land. And I think I do. How do you find out about these exploits? Well, just playing the game and figuring out what it is that you want to do. You know, it's... Really, I'm quite surprised that that didn't work, because it worked beautifully. Last time, maybe there was a secret batch. Doubt it. Although my game did update, so that might have been the case. <laughs> Roll a <he> bear me. <laughs> uh, Roll nothing. That was just a fail. I got your number, you motherfucker. It, it does work when you do. This should have worked. I would have been able to completely evaporate him, but the the single French heavy ship ruined it. City London already exists, though, doesn't it? Isn't it called the City of London? Isn't that already like sort of a separate, separate uh, thing? I don't know, though. Don't quote me on that. I believe I've heard something about that. I don't really know if that's like a separate, separate thing. I know it's separate from uh, the City of London. City of London is separate from the City of London. Good going. That isn't gonna work. Why am I sieging this with only eight cannons? I need to redo this. This is a mess. Oh, I'm attacking into mountains here. I keep forgetting that this is mountains. It's because I'm not using T bar W mod. <laughs> I would have seen that it were mountains if it was T, T, T bar W. Yeah, that's bad. I should really get that mod back. I keep forgetting that this is mountains. Stupid. Those Norwegians shouldn't want to spawn, but I got to that stupid tech cost reduction thing, so they're spawning all right. I don't need to go deal with that, but at least it's only once, and then they'll leave me alone. Because I had this overextension for too long, I shouldn't have. I got innovative ideas for crying out loud. I 
I mean, it's easy enough to deal with. It just sucks that I have to move my guys from the front line to deal with that. So, Portugal, did you lose all your colonies? Oh, no, you kept all of them. Are you still at war with them? Nope. That's really... That's really good. So that means I can grab the rest of his colonies. And they, they won't... Uh, declare independence later because they have a truce and negative 50% liberty desire for failing to re uh, to revolt. Those Protestant zealots are making me nervous though. Are we converting this? We are. After we've converted it, will it drop down? Probably not. It's going to be like, fuck you, Flory. It's bad because then I get religious zeal and all that. Well, I get religious zeal. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I get religious zeal from converting it. No, Florida, the city of London is just a term for the inner city of London municipalities. is used in referring to the financial stock market. Okay, so it's not like a separate country. But they had like separate rules and all that, right? What is that noise? That was my phone. Well, not my phone. It was like the phone of my house. Alien invasion. <laughs> Alright, taking care of those rebellious Norwegians. Let's keep moving. Yeah, my troops are actually badass. You can see that how easy it is to beat rebels. It's, it's nice. Oh, come on. Oh, right. There we go. Um, gonna get some proper cannons and a proper siege team in there, then. Which now I don't have any siege in here. And uh, too many cannons. So let's get out of here. Guy in there. Now, twelve April. Let's move down. We get the siege on Aragon done after getting the super general in there. Eight Igby is gonna be gone. I want the three siege guy in there. I I put it put it in there because although this guy is gonna arrive first, so it'd be a little problematic. I wish I could be more like Flory. Live in a house. <laughs> Landline phones. So useful. So loud as well. Because you don't have them with you, so they need to make... They need to make such a loud noise that you can hear them everywhere. And that's why landline phones are always so fucking annoying. So Finally, the mystery of why landline phones are so loud and annoying. It's, it's because they need to be loud. Hey. So I should have a free guy. Yep, we can go to Toledo. For mercy, I really. Like. Alright, perfect. Perfect. I wish I could be Paris Hilton or rich by heritage and shit, not giving a tea. Not giving a tea? Why would you not give a tea? A tea is that valuable to you? Bug? 
Oh ja, ik kom er zo uit. Hmm. What am I going to do to Spain? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let's uh, let's uh, try and uh, get get ourselves a little preview here. What am I going to do to Spain? Well, I'd like to throw away the past of my diplo points. Over extension, I can't, <coughs> can't ask for this. Also going to give me too much overextension. Pretty sure. I want to do things a little bit differently here. Gibraltar would be really nice to have for multiple reasons. Uh. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, some, something along the lines of this. <laughs> nice conquest of Cadiz. And then not asking for Cadiz. Yeah, I know. Really, I don't particularly care about this stuff on the side. Okay, this would be nice, so would Cadoba. Then again, asking stuff here is gonna make France more likely to want to kill me. So no, I think I'll ask for this. I mean, that's going to weaken him substantially, but most importantly, I'm gonna get some more colonies. And then doing so more trade power. Small coalition. Oh, guys, you must be new here. I don't. I don't care about coalitions. I mean, at most, you have to give them ten thousand docats, and then uh, they'll be gone. It just sucks if you have to fight multiple ones in a fifteen-year cycle because then you have to pay a lot of money. And if you have allies, you don't even need to pay ten thousand docats. Yes, that's right, 10,000 dockets is the most the coalition's ever going to want from you. Usually, if you ask for, uh, if you offer to give money, they'll be like, well, we want more than just money. But if you give them 10,000 dockets, that's a 100% war score. They can't say no to that. They have to say yes. So if you, if you give 
10,000 ducats. No peace out. No matter what. I'm thinking I really want Valencia Mercia. If I give some land back to France, it's going to make him so happy with me. And it's going to give me five extra favors. It's, 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 it's going to give me... Um, uh, shit. It's, it's going to give me favors, but it's also going to make him more happy. And he still has my dynasty, so I haven't given up hope of PUing that bastard. Besides, him staying my ally makes the coalition less likely to declare. How much more sperm am I giving up for this? Twelve? Now that's twelve provinces right there. I don't... I don't really know if I, uh, if I can live with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. I mean, it's at least gonna give me three cordial leashes with the merchant. I can ask for the rest later if they don't declare their independence, but they probably won't win their independence if I ask for just this. If I ask for this. Does it actually work? Yeah, it does. They'll instantly. I can show you later. I don't make enough money yet, but soon I will, and then it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, could this would be nice? You can, you can legit, but it's difficult to do, right? Because if you want to still, if you want to be able to afford that, you need an income of about a hundred ducats a month to be able to uh, consistently do that, and you need to make sure that it's only one coalition every fifteen years. Because if it's two coalition wars every 15 years, you have to pay 20,000 ducats every 15 years. That's a lot. That's a lot. And we also want to build up some infrastructure, so we need... We need more. More. Yeah, is this going to make France join a coalition? It's, oh, it is. Negative 42. Nah, I can... I can gift them money. We're also going to gain some relations for giving back their cores. How much does this change if I ask for more from Brazil? It changes next to nothing. Build up infrastructure and make Spain pay for it. Yeah. Isn't Uruguay part of the Brazil uh, trade node? No, no, no. The edge is right here. You could tell because he built Brazil first. Well, I suppose it doesn't really. Don't get Cadiz. I really want Cadiz though. I've got a war goal for Cadiz, I don't have to pay dip for that. This is really expensive in old dip department as well. If I ask more for Spain, Spanish mainland, uh, France is for sure going to join the coalition. If I don't ask for all of this, that's going to lower my aggressive expansion with France substantially. Of course, I could send them a gift, but I'm also going to lose it. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see what we'll do.
Anyway, I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna go eat real quick. Uh, I'll be back in like half an hour. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're watching this on Twitch, I'll be back in like half an hour to... 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 Three quarters. <laughs> 45 minutes. <laughs> half an hour to 45 minutes. I'll be back. And we'll uh, dissect Spain. Ask colonies. So we can get more merchants and more colonies. Who you can extort for infinite money. It's nice. It's amazing. So... That's like a two-fold plan. We're going to extort the colonies for infinite money so we can build up buildings. And the way you extort colonies for infinite money, in case you missed the memo, is that you tax them to shit. Increase tariffs. Now, that increases liberty desire, but if you increase the tariffs to 100%, they have to give you all their money, and then they won't be able to afford an army. And if they can't afford an army, then they won't have liberty desire because, eh, they don't have an army to be... Uh, do we even dare try to declare their independence? So that's what we're gonna do, but it's only gonna work after we own all of this. So we're gonna have to wait until we own that and then we can ask for that money. That's gonna be glorious. Great. And then at the same time, I need to own France, Spain, and Italy. That combined with revolutionary. Uh, actually, if we own France and Iberia and some parts of Italy with going revolutionary, we should have enough force limit. To be able to hire one million mercenaries. Like I said, hopefully, I like I'm hoping I'll be able to get it by 1756, and then we'll have uh, 70 years to play around with our uh, one million stack. Now, of course, when we made it in uh, Caradell, I think we got it at 1713. So manpower one million stack is certainly faster than uh, uh, Mercenary 1 million stack, but there's something about the mercenary 1 million stack that makes it so OP because well You'll see anyway. Thank you, and we'll see you guys in just a bit also Jimmy swag 8 Thank you for subscribing for three months in a row. I tip my hat to you, sir. Hey, thank you and bye. Oh Wow all this time I had this little pluck of blonde hair right. Now now you're gonna know that this is not my real hair it's, it's, it's unfortunate. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a half an hour to 45 minutes. Thank you for watching and bye bye.